We're going to move on now to Ukraine, where Russian troops have been driven out of another major city, a key one. Ukrainian forces have recaptured Lehman. It's a major crossroads in eastern Ukraine, and this happened just over the weekend. Russia is responding with more long-range attacks, and still more civilians have been killed as a result. Charlie Daggett is in Ukraine for us, as he has been for weeks. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Tony. This is the aftermath of one of those long-range attacks. We're at a bus depot in Dnipro. It was hit by a missile strike a few nights ago. More explosions here this morning. Further attacks on civilian targets while Russian forces lose ground on the battlefields. Ukrainian paratroopers swept into Lehman over the weekend after a hard-fought battle flying the flag for the first time in months. Recapturing the strategic city in the east marks one of the most significant victories of the war. And the Ukrainian flag will soon fly in other regions, vowed a defiant Ukrainian president, saying the successes of our soldiers are not limited to Lehman. Even as he spoke overnight, his Ukrainian soldiers were advancing in the country's south. Unverified social media posts suggest they pushed Russian troops back around 25 miles in just one day. The rapid-fire territorial takeover slices right into regions President Putin claimed as his own on Friday in his illegal annexation of four territories in Ukraine. In his mind, that's now Russian soil. The mayor of Russian-occupied Melitopol, kidnapped in the early days of the war, then released in a prisoner swap, says he expects a massive escalation. What sort of military statement do you think President Putin may make now? I think he, use, uh, he can use uh, nuclear weapons uh, on these territories to make his uh, military uh, tasks. That has put cities like Dnipro on edge, where the Russian military has already stepped up attacks on civilian targets in recent days. It's not exactly clear what the intended target was, but a massive Russian missile completely destroyed this home in a residential neighborhood. Neighbors tell us a grandmother, a mother, and two small children were killed as they slept. We watched as tearful residents paid tribute, laying flowers and toys, young lives taken in a random rocket attack miles from the front line. Others wandered in shock and disbelief and fear of where and when the next rockets will strike. There are no obvious military targets at this depot either, but it has crippled the public transportation system while we're learning Ukrainian forces have taken even more ground south of here this morning. Nate. Charlie Daggett in Ukraine, thank you.